The war between Ukraine and Russia has centered the world's attention on an unprecedented world of modern warfare, where old and new technology clash in a rapidly changing environment. It has forced both sides to use weapons and vehicles that had not been battle-tested or were designed with a different purpose in mind. As the conflict rages on, it's been shown that Russian forces have had to adapt to these conditions in creative ways. Their battlefield gear looks more like a ragtag collection of oddities than a formidable military arsenal. From makeshift cages perched atop tank turrets to dodge missile strikes, to videos of Russian fighters wielding rusty relics for rifles, and even naval guns welded onto ancient military tractors to create bizarre Frankenstein-esque tanks, Russian troops are scraping the bottom of the barrel to find creative solutions to their equipment shortage. But even when the Russian forces have the right tools for the job, they often go haywire in the most spectacular fashion. In a recently released video, Russian troops can be seen firing what appears to be an SA-17 missile system near the occupied Ukrainian city of Alkhevsk. With a booming roar, the missile shoots into the sky, only to make a hairpin turn and hurtle back toward its origin like a lethal boomerang. This catastrophic malfunction has left military experts scratching their heads. It is rocket science. In the high-stakes game of war playing out in Ukraine, Russian equipment has had its fair share of hiccups, but nothing quite as shocking as a guided missile pulling a complete 180 and obliterating its launcher system. Such an event is rare, mainly due to the missile system's sophisticated designs. These million-dollar marvels are not built to take a wild U-turn and self-destruct. It would take a perfect storm of complex, unfortunate mishaps for such a fiasco to unfold. In short, the possible causes are numerous and complex. After the astonishing incident, theories have been flying fast and furious. Some point fingers at enemy hackers, while others blame a jammed fin or faulty radar guidance. However, a definitive answer remains elusive. The bizarre accident unfolded in the Luhansk region of occupied Ukraine, specifically in the city of Alkhevsk, which stands 31 miles to the east of the front lines. Given the distance to the battlefront, experts assume that Russian troops likely employed the Buk missile system, known to NATO as the SA-17. This launcher can strike targets up to 50 miles away, making it a prime suspect of being the system that malfunctioned in the now infamous footage. With its impressive range to hit targets up to 50 miles away, the launcher can sit well behind Russian lines while keeping the front under its thumb. Given the high stakes and the complexity of the war in Ukraine, the launcher in question isn't a simple weapon system. Its price tag can easily cross the $100 million mark. As a SAM, or surface-to-air missile, the system is tailor-made to keep enemy warplanes, drones, and incoming crews and ballistic missiles in check. To do so, the missiles can clock a hair-raising Mach 3, three times the speed of sound. A 180-degree U-turn at such breakneck speed is not just a colossal fuel drain, but also a feat next to impossible. However, before the missile can hit its stride, it has to traverse the launching phase while it's still gaining momentum. From the riveting footage, analysts speculate that the rogue missile was traveling at around 48 degrees, which means it was still a mile high and well within the missile's boost phase when it malfunctioned. Possibilities Most SAM systems come as a package deal, sporting a launcher unit, a search radar, and a tracking radar. The search radar is perpetually on the prowl for aerial threats. Once it sniffs one out, that intelligence is relayed back to the radar. At that juncture, the decision to launch a missile is made. The projectile is then escorted by the tracking radar until it's close to the target. At this point, the missile's own radar steps up to the plate and engages it. The systems are networked together, but they're not plugged in with the public internet. Even if this private network was breached, turning the tables on the launcher, especially within the lightning-fast timeline of the missile's ascent and descent, would be next to impossible. It has been suggested the missile might have had a fin jammed in a hard right position, causing it to perform the lethal pirouette mid-air. While that's a plausible scenario during the boost phase, the missile is usually on a straight and narrow path not engaged in any fancy aerobatics that could risk a fin getting jammed and setting off this domino effect. 
during the boost phase, the fins are typically fixed in place. Yet another theory points the finger at a faulty guidance system, suggesting that the tracking radar might have taken a wrong turn and sent the missile hurtling back to Earth. However, a closer look at the footage suggests that the guidance system wasn't the culprit. Two other smoke trails can be seen, indicating that other missiles had taken off earlier and behaved as intended. The guidance system seems to have been functional for these previous launches, so for it to suddenly go haywire during operation is improbable, though not entirely impossible. The cause. The most plausible explanation behind the spectacular boomerang missile incident is careless handling and poor manufacturing standards. Most missiles run on solid rocket fuel motors. Nestled inside the missile is the fuel compartment, an insulator to stop the fuel from burning through the missile's shell, a combustion chamber where the sparks fly, and a primer to set off the explosion and send gas rocketing out the back. The rocket propellant is blended with a plasticizer, a sticky substance that binds the propellant to the insulator walls, keeps it from cracking, and maintains the shape of the combustion chamber. When the primer is sparked, the rocket fuel ignites from the inside out, generating gas and propelling the missile. If the rocket is mishandled, poorly stored, or exposed to wild temperature swings, the fuel inside can deteriorate. It could seep through the plasticizer and pool on one side, throwing the missile's balance off. A likely chain of events leading up to the incident would entail a clump of fuel formed during manufacturing or through poor handling. When the missile was fired, it was all systems go, until this clump was ignited. That's when the rocket started to act erratically and turn violently into its own launcher. Once a titan on the world stage, the Russian military has seen its reputation take a nosedive due to a series of high-profile blunders and accidents, exposing the dire state of the machinery. Recent footage and first-hand accounts paint a grim picture, soldiers grappling with defective equipment and paltry supplies. Several photos show soldiers putting the weakness of Russian helmets to the test and contrasting their sparse first aid kits with the well-stocked ones of their Ukrainian counterparts. There are even accounts of soldiers resorting to looting gear from fallen comrades due to shortages. Furthermore, the recent revelation that Putin's troops are resorting to patchwork planes and drones rigged up with store-bought cameras and game pads is also evidence of the lack of adequate warfare equipment. All these incidents point to a lack of standardized procedures and operational training within the Russian forces, suggesting that the recent missile mishap was more likely a combination of mishandling exposure to harsh conditions, and sheer bad luck for the Russian soldiers in the receiving end of the boomerang missile. Thank you for watching Dark Footage. For more shocking footage from the world's battlefields, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you're looking for more military action, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. We publish new content regularly, so stay tuned.